Good evening, everybody, and welcome to ISI. And tonight we are going to be doing relationships, talking about relationships, the, the season of relationships. We've been talking about relationships for probably the last three weeks now. And um, we are continuing the series talking about relationships. Um, and this topic tonight is vulnerability in relationships from a male female perspective now with that being said i would like to introduce my guest today who is going to bring some fire in the booth and it's going to be we actually do not agree on most things which is really cool but we've been friends for more than a decade and um yeah he's he's a really cool guy he's a bit of eye candy too ladies just saying um into <laughs> <laughs> You're showing off already. <laughs> Introducing my guest for the night, Mr. Anthony Ace. Welcome to ISI. Woo, woo, woo. We welcome you. We welcome you. Good evening. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. As I see, Andrea, you're looking um, beautiful and fabulous as always. Um, Thank you very much. Looking all Hollywood in this picture. Glam, 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 everyday glam. No, it's not everyday glam. You lot should have seen me all day. Headscarf and pajamas. Me now telling a lie. Me to go show her because I could not come on ISI looking the way I was looking about an hour ago. Well, I could have, but you know how we do. You know. So yeah, so it's good to have you, Anthony. It's really, really good. I'm just gonna start off with kind of just giving everyone a little talk, and then I'm gonna ask you to chime in if that's okay. Yeah. Is that no cool? problem yeah awesome all right guys so we're going to talk about vulnerability but i just want to say a quick prayer before we start hope nobody's opposed to it if you are it's too bad because i'm going to do it anyway just saying so heavenly father i just thank you for today i thank you for this awesome set of people i thank you for those who will be joining us here and on facebook and wherever father i just pray that today will be amazing that we will hear what you want us to hear say what you want us to say think what you want us to think feel what you want us to feel and ultimately know what you want us to know and i pray everyone will leave here feeling mm, high and if you're wondering what mm, high is it's a is an acronym of uplifted magnificently motivated hopeful inspired and invigorated mm, high and when you come to isi we expect you to leave mm, high so that's what's going to happen today so becky stop smiling like that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's what's gonna happen today i'll ask everyone if you can mute your mics it just makes the sound better and if you want to talk um raise a hand and then you know and then you can unmute um i'm just gonna just make sure everyone's muted yep we're all muted we're all muted we're all muted um let's mute this one right okay oh okay i don't know can't mute, but anyway. I can't, I, can't, I can't mute mine. Okay, don't worry, I'll do it for you. I know, I tried on my laptop, so I'm using a phone. There you go. Right, so everyone's muted, I think. Xperia's not, but I, I don't, it doesn't give me the option. I guess you're special. Okay, say no more. But hey, it's all good. So welcome to ISI guys, welcome to the, the ISI family. And like I said, today we are going to be talking about being vulnerable. Now we've been talking about relationships for the last few weeks and um, we've talked about trust, we've talked about communication. Um, but one of the main things is that I have been really passionate about this topic for quite a while because um, in the institution of life, relationships is one of the most important things that we need to understand. And it's something that we're very rarely taught or we rarely take time to learn um, and really master the art of having successful, you know, flourishing relationships. And I'm not just talking about romantic relationships. Relationships cover the umbrella of all relationships that be it husband and wife, be it boyfriend and girlfriend, be it work colleague and uh, be it school teacher and pupil, be it shopkeeper and I don't know, what do you call us? Patron. Um, but I, I just wanted to really kind of get into the, the nitty gritty of 
relationships. Sorry, I forgot that I wanted to actually go live on Facebook. Let's see if we can do that. All right, I never go live on Facebook, but I thought I'd do it today. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that today and see what happens. So it really is about understanding the dynamics of relationships and understanding the importance of relationships and also just you know understanding who we are in relationships and the purpose of relationships and some of the things that we definitely need in regards to relationships is vulnerability now my thing about having vulnerability in relationships is that um I find as a woman I do sometimes struggle with being vulnerable um I do but I have noticed that men struggle so much with this aspect of relationships and it's something that I really um it's kind of not baffled me but you know I guess they say uh, men are from Mars and women are from Venus so we're from completely different planets so therefore we probably speak two completely different languages so I've invited Anthony on today um because I really want to kind of hear a male's perspective about being vulnerable in relationships now I I I'll, I'll, I'll sort of say what I think. So for me, vulnerability in relationships is very, very, very important because when you get into relationships, um, I think a lot of times we can be very guarded. And from my experience is that being guarded in relationships does not serve you. It doesn't serve you. I mean, obviously on the first date, you're not gonna be like, yeah, my cat died. Um, I suffer with depression, I'm this and that. Like, you're not gonna be like, just putting it all out there or you might and there's nothing wrong with that so you know there's absolutely nothing wrong with being vulnerable in relationships so I kind of wanted to pose the question as to you know what do we think it means to be vulnerable in a relationship and what does that mean to a man and why do they struggle with it and even as women there may be women who struggle with this as well and I want to understand why do you struggle with vulnerability now I um I think those of you who've been on ISI before you know that I'm quite open and I'm quite honest and I do tend to be quite vulnerable I tell my story very open and honestly and so in ISI so as I am in life as well I, I stay vulnerable to my friends and you know my family who are you know close to me I I try to keep that vulnerability because I remember at one point um somebody actually said to me you know when I was when I was crying out for help is that this is weird because you never look like you need help you never look like you need anyone's help or you need anybody's um, approval or anything like that hey to Facebook people how you doing we got we got Facebook people down here so if you keep seeing me look down it's because my phone's down there and I'm saying hey to the Facebook method so um, and I try to stay vulnerable I have to be honest I hate crying in front of people how many of you hate crying in front of people like I I bloody hate it I hate crying in front of people I hate when my nose goes red and my eyes swell up and you get that tingle in your nose and it's just like uh, like I don't want to cry and and I always used to say to myself why don't I want to cry in relationship or in in front of people why don't I want to show that side and it's because I think part of us believes that vulnerability is a sign of weakness and showing vulnerability means that I'm weak or I, I don't, you know, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a strong person or, you know, I just, I'm just weak. And I, I can't lie, I do feel a bit weak when I cry, even though I know that uh, crying is not a weakness, but yet still I struggle with it. So, yeah, but my thing today is, you know, why do men vulnerability is a show of courage. I actually agree that it is a show of courage and I've embraced it. I have absolutely embraced being vulnerable, but, you know, even in, you know, relationships that I'm in now, I find that the people that I'm in relationships with, they struggle with showing that vulnerable side and being able to be vulnerable. So 
I I really wanted to hear from maybe like a male's perspective as well because as women we talk we have this thing we have conversations we have girly nights we have girly chats we sit down we talk we'll get some wine and we'll talk about everything from hair to uh, the, the pain in our back to the time of the month to menopause to children to work to like we talk and I know men are chatty you know but they act like they don't really like to do the chatting thing but I know they are pretty chatty so I really wanted um, to invite Anthony on to discuss this with us and guys this is an open um, forum in the sense of that if you have a question please do ask because it will absolutely help to fuel the conversation and steer the conversation in a way that you might need it to go um, so hey Anthony how you doing I'm doing great, sweet. It's awesome. lovely to be. It's, it's it's lovely to be here with you and just um, have this experience, you know, you know, on your show, and um, to get insight and hopefully I can help somebody. Well, hopefully you can with your mm. insight and your, you know, your knowledge of of yeah. of males and stuff. Now, do you want to just tell people a little bit about what you do and probably why I asked you because you have a forum that you run and yeah. you know we'd like to know about it it's for men though ladies so don't get excited <laughs> hi everybody um i'm anthony ace um maybe a year ago uh, me and my friend dante we decided to form a, a group a chat where young young men can come and um who are in deficient in dealing with relationships and the opposite sex where they can come and get advice and um we can, and then obviously he would deal with the dating aspect of things. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert in love or relationships. Um, I have a 100% failure rate in relationships. So I'm not, any, um, I can't give anyone relationship advice. But one thing I do understand is about power and power dynamics and how it works. I know that relationships are usually a side effects of these things. But um, back to the, the group chat I started, like I said, it was just there to help men because I noticed that men were very indeficient with dealing with women. Um, you know, it's to teach them to embrace their masculinity and to find their place in this dynamic of relationships. All right. And, and how has that been for you? Like, what are the experiences that you've had, like dealing with men and the issues? Or like, what are some of the issues that come up, like that maybe... You know, well, I'll I, I, I tell you something. I, what I found out in this, in doing this chat and giving advice for about a year, that every man doesn't have the same struggle. Okay. Um, they, 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 it's all different. Um, some guys might be um, succeeding financially, but what would happen is that when it comes to dating and relationships, they will struggle because they don't understand the situation and their place and the type of women they go for. So they can't identify the ideal counterpart for themselves so if a guy has a very um let's say he's from a very um what's the correct word i can use if he's got a very soft texture in personality what would usually happen he'll be attracted wait, to wait, very wait. you said a soft texture what what does that mean like we're kind of like the real talkers here like what okay uh, having okay, a soft what? texture uh, what well, 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 I'm saying that he's himself. He, You're saying himself. He, he, he's, himself not, yeah. he's not. He's he's not. He he doesn't. He he doesn't. He doesn't embrace his masculinity. Okay, so oh, he doesn't embrace his masculinity. So right. does that mean he's a bit feminine? Um, maybe have some feminine attributes. That's why I use the word a soft texture. So right. So women, you class us as soft. Guys, don't even let me get started. So we're soft textured and like men are hard. I, I, I'm not saying that. I mean, some. I mean, every woman has different struggles. So some women are going to be harder than the others. Um, some people have gone through more struggle than others. Some think people have suffered trauma. Um, is you know that, that's why some people have barriers. And you know, and that's why when it comes to vulnerability, they they lack the ability to show it because it, you know sometimes it comes to about you know they do this thing called trust. And um, we, when we Which go with, out into the, when, when we do go out into the dating game, is the thing is, can we trust? And we're trying to probe their mind and search their mind to find out who these people really are because we both know 
when we're out in the dating game, everybody puts their best foot forward. That's very true. Now, I agree that when we first get into relationships, we always put our best foot forward. And I think that's across the board in, you know, in, in all relationships. Would you say that there's a time and a place for vulnerability? Or would you say that it's, it's you know, it's necessary to have? I, I personally would say that there is, it's necessary in relationships. I would say that. What would you say? vulnerability okay what usually happens is this is where we get stuck i believe that what happens is we want the relationship to work you see we always show our best side see what happens we don't want to overdose the person with problems because you, you everyone's frightened that they might hear this noise you probably heard it in the cartoons it goes meep meep pew and they go so what we tell really happens we keep showing our best side to the point where the ego no longer wants to hide anymore so we in most cases from a woman's perspective what usually happens is the reason when you see her best side is either when you marry her her other side is either when you marry her or give her a baby hold on wait 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 you just said ladies like how i like i'm I'm gonna just don't worry girls i got you i got you i see your faces i got you sisters and if any you want to pipe up like right so you just said that a woman will show her best side not her best side who's well, another side you, to a person another well, dynamic you, you said wait say again then go ahead <laughs> okay okay i'll repeat myself again maybe i did say it kind of wrong what usually happens is we only see one side one aspect of someone's personality on the usually on the first encounter or the maybe the first three months of dating them because we really want the relationship to work but what happens is you usually see the other sides of the person when they become when their ego no longer wants to hide that means that even when you're in relationships from a woman perspective, a woman will more likely will show her other sides of her personality when her, where she feels like she's secure in a relationship when she knows that the, her, her counterpart is not going anywhere. That's okay. why when, that's why, you know, they do things like, um, you know, their bad habits um, will be seen um, how easily irritable they can get, um, like letting farts rip. Um, you know, um, things they will hide from you, they will expose it to you. Okay, so it's yeah. quite interesting that you you say from a woman's perspective, yeah. but you're a man. So okay, and, and, so, and, and it could be vice versa for a man as well. So I mean, I, what I happens is when from a man's perspective. How... Okay, I'll give you from a pan. Yeah. I think from a man's perspective, um, what usually happens? I mean, when um, when we do find when we do our set, and then we know that uh, our relationship, we do have. Um, a, a, like what do you say um, sovereignty in the situation from a man's perspective because obviously by nature men are supposed to lead the, the woman and um, when a man does feel like he has sovereignty of woman then other aspects of his personality starts to show his bad character traits sometimes his good character traits as well so you'll start seeing all dynamics of his personality so that's why a lot of people will say that, oh, the reason why it never worked out, why did it not work out? Oh, because he changed. He didn't really change. He just showed you one dynamic of his personality. And when you saw the others, that's why you believe he's changed. But what you first saw was his representative. So the you that he wanted you to see. Yes, the you. Every, every time you meet someone for the very first time, you see their representative. You never really see really them. Mm, see I see okay so maybe I'm a bit of an anomaly then because mm. I'm kind of one of those people what you see is what you get if you meet me on the road I'm this fabulous if you meet me in the market I'm this fabulous I'm like this is who I am and I'm not gonna lie and and say that I, I I'm not gonna like belch in you know on the camera or you know break winds on the camera and be like mm -hmm. You know, I mean, hey, Amy May, and but I'm I'm pretty real, and I think most women we kind of pride ourselves on being as real as we can, like a lot of women. But I would say because of social media and maybe the younger generation, there is this whole kind of stigma to present, you know, your Instagram face. This is what I like to call it: present your Facebook face or your Instagram face. So, you know, you wanna, you wanna look a certain way and come across a certain way. Just to take it to a bit of a spiritual dynamic is that 
how and uh, because this is about relationships and one of the most important relationships that I believe is a relationship that you have with yourself and a relationship that you have with God um you know Holy Spirit the, the relationship that you have with God and as a Christian woman or as a spiritual woman um I make sure that I stay vulnerable to in my relationship to God because I find that he already knows anyway, he already knows who I am. So I stay vulnerable. And through learning to be that vulnerable with my own self, it's taught me to, it's enabled me to be vulnerable with others. But I still, um, Karen says by nature, women are more intuitive. So I'm just gonna get the hold of that, hold on. Uh, where is it? Women are more intuitive and so have the wisdom. This wisdom by nature would be communicated to, the man for the man to carry out his role men in the relationship inherently were not born to lead but to complement as were women okay so we have a bit of a challenge on that on the statement that you made that men were born to lead yes yeah don't worry Karen I got you girl I feel you and you know what I I, I I'm a bit with that one because I think if you're a Christian and you grow up with Christian values we're taught that the men is the head and blah 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 and I don't have an issue with it because I understand roles and I also understand dynamics in relationships and leading is if we really understand the word leader it actually means servant in a very high esteem so when a man talks about being a leader, a lot of the times they come from leading from the front rather than understanding that leadership actually means to lead from the back and to guide. So how do you feel about that, Anthony? I feel great. I mean, at the end of the day, um, a man is supposed to have a plan. Um, men are supposed to provide you know, the woman with protection and provision. Um, we are the hunters, we're the gatherers, we're the builders. And we, we're the logical thinkers out, out, out of me and you. Uh, you're crushing my cones. You're crushing my cones. Oh, you're crushing my cones. Now, brother, right. right. Uh, I, <laughs> you said, hold on, you're the logical thinker out of me and you. I'm talking now, about men. And okay, you I, as know, I know, yeah. out of males and females. I have to say that I am probably more logical than a lot of the men that I know. I've, I've had builders come to my house who are contracted to do the jobs that they do. They're paid professionals. And the logic that they put in the way that they do things makes no sense to me. And then I'll make a little suggestion. Oh, you know, maybe would you want to, you know, do that? Or I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. And then they, you know, and I'm like, mm, but y'all is the logical ones. Y'all, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just think that there is a very, people think that it's very black and white. And I don't think it's very black and white because I feel like in this society, women have been almost forced to become leaders and forced to take the leadership role. And, you know, I, I've grown up with very strong men um, in my life you know my dad was a strong man and he taught me to be very logical um, and my mom she would do painting and decorating you need logic to kind of do that you can't just oh put things on the wall and you know and, and you need you need that logical brain so you think that men are naturally more logical than women is that what you're saying I'm not saying that um, men are naturally logical than all women I mean, like I said, everybody has different struggles. It's never the same. Like, mm. I, I know they, um, Andre, you're an exception because obviously your dad has prepared you to be alone. Mm. He's, made you, he's made you strong. He's made you self-sufficient. He made you independent. You don't have to go out there and seek dependence from another man. You can stand on your own. Your dad has prepared you to be alone. So if you can't find the right man that you need to settle down with, you are prepared to be alone and you will survive. I think my mom probably had a bigger part to play in that. But in saying that, being prepared to be alone, I was always daddy's little girl. 
And as far as I was concerned, like, you know, he never prepared me to be alone. He always prepared me to be someone who was taken care of and looked after. And, you know, I was princess. I, you know, I was the princess and I, and, and a lot of fathers grow their daughters up being princesses and, you know, Adi says he's making sense when you look at, so I just want to say, see what he said. Uh, or D says, he's making sense when you look at native tribes or different cultures, the men are always the hunting and the women look after the family. In some native tribes, that's not actually the case. In some native tribes, the women are the hunters, believe it or not. Um, but I do understand where you're coming from. But like, just going back to being vulnerable, let's really get down to that because I really think that vulnerability is really necessary in relationships. And I, my question to you is why do men struggle so much to be vulnerable in relationships? Well, let's say, well, not all male, not all men, not all males are men. Um, but if we're talking about the sense of a man, a man has to maintain strength and order at all times. I remember when I was reading the book of Malcolm X and his wife, Betty Shabazz, said, even though we was getting death threats from um, the nation of Islam, I was never afraid for my life because I saw Malcolm X, my husband, as a pillar of strength. These are the things we provide, protection and provision. If we show any kind of weakness or any vulnerability, what would probably happen would probably turn you off. And then you look at us and think, this man can no longer protect me. And then you will start practicing hypergamy and try to find a suitable mate who can. Okay. But you're still not telling me why men are not, why men struggle. I, 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 I told you why men, I, I just told you. And what happens so is if, so if, if, we, if, we if we show you any kind of weakness and you, we, we can't protect you or provide for you, what will happen is your nature will kick in and then you will start, start searching for another partner, another suitable mate who can protect you. Okay, ladies, um, Karen, I want to ask you, like, because you're, you're commenting and, and I'd love to chime in on this. How do you feel about the, the, that, what, what, what Anthony said and about being a woman and being vulnerable, or males being vulnerable? How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's kind of like men have got this, this picture of how they should be in society as the layers to it. And that's why they're so under pressure. Um, as far as the balance in relationship is, it's like the women would stay at home and they'll look after the kids. They'd, they'd um, cook the food, they'd, they'd forage through the forest, they'd get the herbs, they'd be the healers and all of this. And the men would, would go out and, um, you know, and hunt and get the meat, get the protein to put with what the women were doing. But women are more intuitive. We, we, we're, very, we're very intuitive and we use our masculinity and our femininity and we use that and the wisdom that rises from that is quite holistic and it and it can it can dart and dive all over the place whereas men just are just men and they don't let that femininity inside of them what you call what you call it sir what you do call it from <laughs> from I, know what call it, but... I can't remember what you call it <laughs> Anthony what did you call it their soft side no what did you call it Men from a soft texture. So soft, soft texture. texture. That's the one. Marshmallow I've man. I've never heard Sorry. of a soft textured man in my life. Exactly. So I've never heard. <laughs> so, so to me, I feel that you just said that if a man didn't kind of do the macho thing, we would leave them. Well, no. If a man comes to me and they're vulnerable, which is very courageous for anybody to be that. If a man comes to me, as, as I said, it's not 50-50, it has to add up to 100. So if a man comes to me and they're vulnerable, one day, one week, one year, I will make up the slack. And I will, give, I will give more. Do you know what I mean? But, but having this, this men in a way, Kyle, but this one-sided, we're, we're all made, everybody comes from a woman and every man has got that femininity. And somewhere along the line, the men were told, don't let that show up. No, make no woman see that. I don't know that why. Is. Right. Don't know so why. That, right. So that point right there. Thank you for that, Karen. Thank you very okay. much. That right there. 
I believe is a is one of the issues or where it comes from is that okay when you're growing up you got boys and you got girls you know the girls are given the dollies and the boys are given the trucks and the girl falls down and cuts her knee and mommy or daddy says there 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 it's all right baby and she's crying you want me to kiss it better and we do the oh it's, you'll be you're all right okay and you give him the hugs now when the boy falls down and hurts himself what do we say to him all right get up get up big boy you're a big boy you know you dust yourself off all right don't cry big boys don't cry you'll be all right and that's what they're taught from a very very young age so being vulnerable and crying is not something that naturally well it does naturally come to them because we're all born with it but it's I guess it's kind of programmed out of you know boys to not would you agree with that Anthony that boys are like you know it's kind of programmed for them not to be that way Yes, I, I do agree. I mean, it is enforced on us to, um, I mean, the stereotypes probably in the 80s of men being masculine um, and strong, physically um, and mentally strong um, is something that is something always being seen because a man has to prepare for the world because if he doesn't prepare and he's not in his masculinity, he can find himself into a lot of trouble. He can end up getting walked over, pushed over. And as you know, um, pressure applies to a man is supposed to make him better you get me pressure applies to a female it was taught that it's a complete meat grinder sacrifice is a meat grinder to a female but it brings the best out in men sacrifice is a meat grinder to a female please ex please elaborate on that that, that sacrifice thing. i mean to say that things that you need to say that things you have to go about like impulsive spending if they took impulsive spending away from you how would you feel if you couldn't impulsive spend anymore because you have you no money you couldn't impulsive spend anymore i will make a plan to um, change that outcome so because I... as a as, as a man <laughs> remember just remember if a man if all the men just disappeared and left women to sustain the world it would not it would not be able to sustain without a man okay only because you can't procreate with two women no, just say that. Just say, just say you can make more women. Just say you, you can just make women all together. You would not be able to sustain the world without us. Wow. Okay, ladies. If, does anybody want to comment on this? We got some comments on Facebook. Um, someone has said that uh, someone said their mum made them independent and strong and logical, not her dad. Um, somebody else has said. Um, what did they say? Not every, nobody female or male needs to seek sustenance from a partner or either gender, although no one is an island, okay? Uh, someone else has said, while men are more physically fit, the role of hunter-gatherer, um, women have just as much drive and determination. Now, um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, how do you feel about that? I mean, I, like I said, for me, vulnerability is important in a relationship, guys. I believe that you need to have vulnerability in a relationship. And I have found that I have struggled, even in relationships with my, with my siblings, you know, my brothers, I have struggled to, um, I guess, connect with them when they've refused to sort of be vulnerable and be open and be honest. And you I, I, I can't totally disagree with what you say, Anthony, when you said about women um, losing interest in a guy that shows, you know, his soft side or, you know, not shows it, but he maybe, what did you say? He's of a soft texture. Now, ladies, like, let's just, you know me, I'm real and I'm honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. I have had some, I guess, soft textured guys approach me and I'm like, nah, sir. Because if a fight broke out, me got up a jump in front of him and me don't want to up a jump in front of my man. Like, let's, girls, let's just be real. Like, we don't want the pia I don't want it. I don't want him to be like that. I need him that if a fight's gone broke out, he's going to push me to the side and he's going to go for it. Like, I'm not going to lie to you and sit here and say, I don't like the masculinity. Like, I like a man to be a man. 
But then at the same time, I struggle when he's being who he is and I need him to be soft. So it's like, where do we get that balance and um just for those of you who are not christians this is not about religion okay this is just relationships this is about life i am a christian woman okay and i'm not going to not say that i am and if you don't like it i don't care just saying all right so so i just had to put that out there because people are like making a fuss about me talking about christianity this is this is isi i get to talk about whatever i want and if you don't like it eh, guess what bye so anyway back to where we was at now i do not, I can't lie. When I'm soft and I'm always a cry and he's always doing these stuff, like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it's not attractive to me. It's not, I don't find it attractive. When he cries and he's vulnerable in moments, there's nothing sexier than my guy being, yeah, crying, yeah, 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 if he cries. I don't mind, I'll wipe your tears, baby. You know, come, come lay your head on my, on my chest and let me stroke your head and make you feel better or you know or you know make you a steak if that's what you like or do you know what I mean but it's just that the lack of it the lack of one don't laugh Dane like this is the real talk like it's just the the idea that there's a lack of vulnerability in relationships and that I feel like it's something that we really need to bring into our relationships and I find that with men it's it's much more of a struggle to get that side out of them or to speak to them about it or to get them to show us their feelings so where how do you as a man balance like how how do you how do you get that balance do you even do you cry anthony sorry i just had to mute my mic um no i don't cry see that says a lot though like what does it me, say? that says a lot because my dad never cried and you know my dad was one of the he was very loving and wonderful but he was never gentle really and soft you know like I would I would do my makeup and he'd be like what's that you have on your face I prefer your natural face and I'm like dad I just like I just and he'd be like yeah it look all right but you know and then I'll put a dress on I'm like dad you like my dress oh you put on a bit of weight in it I'm like for good sake I was like can you just like give me some kind of validation or can you just you know and then or like if he's in a mood I'll be like dad how's it going today yeah man everything's all right and I'm like but dad you don't seem all right today like what, what's going on with you no 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 I'm fine I'm fine and I'm like no but dad like can we just like no man I'm all right I'm all right and to the point where I was like so dad if, if I died would you cry and he looked at me and he went <laughs> he said I'd do that I said, Dad, you're such a liar. And he busts out laughing. And he was like, you know what? I probably wouldn't. And I was like, Dad, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was just like, how do, so how do you show? Okay, my question then might be, how, because you said you don't cry. How do you show vulnerability to a woman? Or how do you show vulnerability in a relationship? Or do you show vulnerability in a relationship? I never show vulnerability in a relationship. Are you single right now? I have someone I really care about. Okay, then. She's good. But I, I never show vulnerability in a relationship. I, I, all my students that I teach, I teach them not to show vulnerability to any woman. And, and how does that, and, and, and what does that, like, okay, I'm a little bit confused. How, what does that look like then? Because for me, okay. that was okay, the end well, let's go back to what you said, which was very interesting, um, which started making me think. It's, you said that you want a guy who's strong and ready for combat, but then again, you want someone who's soft and tender that can line Just like me. Yeah. I am ready for combat and I am soft and tender. I will kick your ass. Yeah. Uh, and then I will, I, will, uh, I, I, will, I will do wounds and I would like, I'm, I'm on both sides of the fence. So uh, I, don't uh, I, I will believe that you will, but I found the answer to your problems. You need two men because you can't have a good guy and a bad guy at the same time. Just like you can't have a hot chocolate that's cold, but also hot. You can't have your cake and eat it too, girl. Okay. Between him and the other guy, you're gonna have to choose. Okay. 
ladies, um, Fra um Fra Francine, yeah, come on, I can, I can see she's been like chomping at the bit. She's like, let me at them, let me at them. <laughs> I like, I, 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 I don't know. No, I, 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 am I, am I hurting feelings in here today? Yeah, and I, no, you're not hurting feelings. I just, um. <laughs> I just don't understand your stance when it comes to being vulnerable and and showing feelings. And I didn't say anything about not showing feelings, but vulnerability is is is, is a weakness. And what happens if we if I display weakness, then you will start having doubts. I would say, okay, I have to. Human. Right, okay, I'll show you. Right, my mom. When my mom passed away. Sorry, before you start, was you raised with both parents? Yes. Okay, when my cool. mom... Conti sorry, right. continue. When sorry, my... sorry. When my mum passed away, all right, my mum and dad been together 30-odd years and um, loved each other dearly. And my dad was a soft-textured man. But you roll my dad, boy, you soon get beat, telling you. But when my mum passed away, my dad showed no emotion, right? And I know he must have been hurting inside. Mm. And when I asked him, Dad, you know, are you all right? And he just said, we have to just take it in it. We have to just take it. And every day my dad would go outside. He had the start of dementia. And he'd be calling for my mum. He would be out on the street. He'd be in the garden. He'd be looking for her. And I thought my dad never cried, but I know he was hurting inside. And I just think being able to show your vulnerability and being able to express that in whatever way has got to be a healthy thing rather than suppressing it and holding it down because it could turn into something so much more negative and that can't be good for your mental health see and when it comes to what i think i agree that's what i think but carry on carry on Ex and sorry, when it comes to Xperia, you might have to go out go out and come back in if can you message um Xperia, please because they're saying that they can't um hear any audio so if you can just message them to go out and then maybe enter the chat again. Anthony, if you know them, please. Yeah, sorry, go ahead, honey. Well, I, sorry, I don't know who Xperia is because it doesn't have a name. It's just, oh, I, I think that's his name of his phone. I'm not okay. sure. All right, yeah. all right. Thank you, Tian. Thank you. All right, yeah, it's okay. Someone will do it. Yeah, sorry, carry on, Francine. I mean, I'm, I'm always being vulnerable in my relationships right from the get-go because I'm like, you need to know what you're getting, <laughs> warts and all. So... Yeah, I'm um, Karen has known me all my life and, um, you know, I'm always open to being vulnerable because I want to be able to be my true, authentic self mm -hmm. in a relationship. So why hide anything about you? Um, because to build a strong relationship, you've got to see the true person, the whole person. And that includes your vulnerability as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree, definitely, because I, you know, I just think that in, 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 in the confines of a relationship, like I personally would struggle dating somebody who doesn't show me any vulnerability. Like, in fact, mm, um, yeah, I, I do, I, I have struggled and I do struggle um, because, um, I, I and I think one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about this is because you know in relationships that I've been in I've been in relationships with guys who don't show vulnerability they don't show their soft side you know they won't tell you they won't just say I love you they won't just say it for no reason or they won't just you know um I don't know just just come to you and talk about feelings and I've noticed that asking a man um babe how do you feel rather than what are you thinking? So I now say, babe, what's on your mind? What are you thinking? I won't say, how do you feel? But if I'm talking to a sister 
you know, I'm gonna say to her, how you feeling girl? Like what's going on? And we will know, you know, how to respond to that. So is it that the language is different? Is it that the interpretation is different? Or is it that men just really are not, do not show vulnerability and they think that that's okay. And do you think that that's okay to not show vulnerability? Do you think you can sustain a long-term relationship with somebody who doesn't, and or be in a relationship and never show vulnerability? Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it healthy to, to be vulnerable to, um, you know, to your the girl you're dating um, from a man's perspective um i say i say because of my based on my personal experiences the minute i did start to show vulnerability i noticed that women were turned off so even when guys have told me when they've cried in front of girlfriends and i've told them they should have never have done that oh, and then, ma then many oh, many 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 months later they'd be phoning me back up and telling me that they caught her out there cheating with another man. What you and you it, think that's because he cried in front of her? No, because it could, that could have been a built up of loads of things. Because obviously, the guy I was talking to, um, obviously, he has um, feminine attributes. Um, he was raised by his mother, not his father. So all the masculinity that was supposed to pass on and the knowledge that was supposed to pass on from the father, he never got to him. So what happened is that his mum didn't raise him, but she maintained him. His mum. crushing my cones I just want to say you are crushing the cones mm. you just said that his mother didn't raise him she did what she maintained him she maintained him yes well, please elaborate on what you mean maintaining by him is by providing him food and shelter and clothes but teaching him how to be a man and embrace his masculinity she would never have a clue because she is in her um um, a feminine mind state feminine mind state okay yeah. i i am gonna say something about myself francine i see a little finger girl i'm going i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a chance um i have helped to raise my nephew i have been around my nephews and i have a nephew who didn't grow up with a father in the, in in the household and he is not feminine in any way shape or form he is as manly as they come he's a provider he's a hard worker he's a doer and I think if you asked him he, who if you asked him who did he see these attributes in he'll tell you that it was in the women that were in in the family it was the women that he saw doing this stuff and were you raised by a two-parent family or were you a were you raised by a single parent I was raised by a single parent so you was by raised my by, mother. So, okay. So, would you say that your mum didn't raise you? Your mum just what did she, she do? She sustained you. And she maintained me. Oh, that's the word. She maintained you. Would you would you say that that your mum maintained you? And she yeah, yeah. I would I would definitely say that she did. She maintained me. She had no idea how to teach. You me say that to, to her face. Oh yeah, all the time. <laughs> she, a mother's love never dies, ladies. A mother's love never dies. No, but I'm saying that my mum didn't have the ability to raise me to be a man. Obviously, she didn't. She didn't show me how to use tools. Um, and that she was she was um, in her feminine mind state. My mom was a very feminine woman. So sorry, can I uh, just say something? Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's but okay. It, I, I'm just my, yeah. I just need to yeah. So you're saying? Wait, let me just get my thoughts together because you're really discombobulating my mind right now. Uh, so, I hope I'm. I hope I'm not um, getting you upset. No, far from. I just don't understand anything you're talking about. So. You're saying your mom maintain so what? So your mom maintained you because she didn't show you how to use the hammer. No, I'm not saying that. Not saying that because she didn't show me to use tools. She didn't teach me how to embrace my masculinity. So the masculinity that you're displaying right now, where did you learn that from? Yeah, That's what I'd love to know. <laughs> uh, we, we keep jumping from different topics of topics. Okay, um, okay. The masculinity I learned. I had good mentors. Okay. Tian, did you finish saying what you wanted to say? I think so. Okay. Did you ask a question? 
I don't know. She asked a question. Not, she just not, you just came in and she was saying something. You came in and wanted sorry, to know where I got them. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. And that's fine. It's fine. It will come back to me. But it's yeah. But yeah. Let me just listen. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, thank you for uh, speaking, Tian. Now, now, you know, not to, not to, but you know, I, I, I deliberately picked Anthony because I know Anthony quite it's well. He's a jerk. Yeah, he is. No, he's mm. not. He's, a, he's actually a, a baby, really... ba baby. I'm a jerk. Come on. Uh, right. And life, and life made me that way because I had to be, or so think... obliteration. Yeah. All right. So you think you're a jerk? Yeah. Okay. I am. I've been told oh. by hundreds of women that I'm a jerk. You, ladies, do you, do you agree that he's a bit oh, I was just going to interrupt and say you are not a jerk, Anthony, and don't say that, watch your words, because you are what you say. So don't let anybody um, make a label for you. You're not a jerk. You just need, you just need talking to. <laughs> well, no, no. Well, no, a jerk is a nice word. Actually, they actually refer to me as an asshole. But I mean, I take both, I take both of them. I, I'm, I'm totally happy with that. I, I take those compliments. <laughs> Now, guys, I have to say, this is a very different iron side to what we usually do. And I really wanted to bring it in because um, I think I always knew that Anthony doesn't show. I've never seen him be vulnerable. I've never seen him be soft. Like, you know, when we have conversations, he's always very like this. He's just, he is very like that. And I knew that bringing him here would get you guys fired up. And I have to admit, he is. I, I said, this is going to be a fiery one because I know that Anthony's not afraid to just be who he is and say what he says. And he's not easily offended because he's not of the soft texture, you know, and 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I, when I say fired up, I mean, like spark your interest. That's what I mean. Like not not, you know, and. And I'm and I'm and I'm I'm listening to this. And like I said, I wanted to hear the male's perspective on being vulnerable and from somebody who doesn't show vulnerability like I'm I we are like polar opposites like polar opposites I am I cry I can watch EastEnders and cry I can watch anything and cry and I'm 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 quite emotional um I'm an emotional person because I feel I feel a lot of I feel a lot of things um so would you say that not displaying vulnerability serves you? This is what I'd like to know. And has it, in past relationships, has it served you? Yes, because it turns women on. Huh? It turns women on. Okay, me not me... showing no vulnerability. Me staying in my masculine mind state turns women on more than ever. Okay, let's, there's a lot of ladies in here. So let's just, I just was going to do that, Karen. I was, you read my mind, sister in. So Facebook, because we got, we got, we got like six people on Facebook as well, listening and all of you guys in here. So just as a poll, can we just get a raise of hands or, uh, uh, you know, those women who think that a man staying in his masculine energy and not showing any vulnerability turns you on. Okay. Anthony. Yeah. Not one lady has raised her hand to say that what you just said is correct. Oh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, they probably prefer men of a soft texture. You know, masculine men is not for everybody. I mean, like I said, it depends. If the if the, usually the opposites usually attract. So if women who are telling me they don't like masculinity, maybe they are masculine and they want something who's a bit softer. So, but there's loads of women in here from lots of different backgrounds, lots of different age groups. We've got mm -hmm. those on um, Facebook, um, mm -hmm. and no one's raised their hand. Not even on Facebook. I. Yeah, I know. Someone's actually said, actually said I think that it's unattractive. I've 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 subheaded it. They used a bit more stronger. Um, well, I, I well I, dis <laughs> I, I I I disagree because at the end of the day, I mean, a, a man is a force multiplier. Do you know? What I mean, when your car breaks down and the tire needs changing, the man comes along and says, "Don't worry, darling, I've got this. I'm gonna save the day." And he lifts up that car and he changes that wheel for you, or he he mends that broken pipe. You know, or he picks up something extremely heavy. 
I said, darling, don't do that. I want you to stay in your feminine mind state. I've got this. Let me lift this heavy, this heavy box for you. Move it over there. Don't it feel great or, or turned on or when a man grabs you and picks you up and, and lays you down on the bed? you telling me that you want to pick up your man and lay him down on the bed? You, you don't want a man to show no masculine attributes no, to you and make you feel distinguished as a lady? And, and all these girls in the chat and saying, ah, um, I'm putting my hand up. No, no, no. Masculinity turns me on. When it sure turns them on when you see a man's body and it's well developed and you see the chest the pecs the abdominals the back muscles you know flex you know walking up and down and it just looks like a you know he's just been in a fire and it's burnt all his clothes off you're telling me that it's not going to turn you on i mean these women go out to strip clubs and see men strippers who look like they're in their masculine mind state with showing big muscles and they're going crazy and they're spending the largest amounts of money putting it down their pants and you're telling me masculine doesn't turn women on Okay, there's a difference between. Can I say something? Hello. Who's that? Oh. Yes, please jump in. Listen, Another man. What, what 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 he said? I could really truly um agree what he says. Really, Elgar. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh no, wait, guys. Let me just put the disclaimer out here. So L is Anthony every week. Yeah, he is my nemesis. <laughs> He's also one of my best friends. But L. He, all right, Elle, so right. you agree let me, with... Let me tell you what it is. Nowadays, things are a lot different nowadays. I mean, women are just forward. And because the man's not being a man, obviously, and the woman's not being a woman, it's all over the place, literally. I mean, a girl comes to me yesterday and she said, I met her for the first time. I said, you know, you're a beautiful girl. Take my number. <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even ask for her name. I just gave her my number because I was too busy. I couldn't bother to chat to her. So I said, take my number, give me a call. And the text she sent me was so to the point and so out this world that I just thought, I can't talk to you. But anyway, back onto the proper subject. I'm, I'm letting you know how nowadays it's, it's, it's a free for all when it comes to relationships. It's, it depends on what you want. You, if you want a man, you want a man, you want a woman, you want a woman, it's a free for all. But what he's saying, I can agree. Because I, for me, I remember when I was younger, when I wanted to have a girl, I used to act like I'm a bad man. I used to lie to him and say, oh, I, I, all this sort of thing. Like, and I used to get the girls I want. When I say I'm a true ex-boy, nobody wants me. But when I say like I'm a bad man about X, Y, Z, and I realized all the drug men, they have two or three girls. The Christian men are struggling for a girlfriend. So what he's saying, there must be some truth to it. When you look at it on that perspective. And I know you girls on here don't, don't want a man who's this, that, and the other. And truthfully, at the end of the day, sometimes women can, can fit themselves. One minute you want a man who's muscular, who could defend you, but you don't want someone who's vulnerable. And when they're vulnerable, you say, oh, he's too soft for me. So a man can't win either way. No matter what he tries to do, but okay, I, I, I hear no, but I hear that. But you, you know what? For me, it's see, winning. It's not about winning. It's about working together. And I, for me, it's about balance. No, 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 no. And somebody, somebody has to lead. So, whether it's a woman or a man, I don't care. But somebody has to lead, and that's what makes a relationship work. You work in your area. He works in his area. Whoever's the strongest mentally, physically, whatever it is, you work in that area. So it's not about compromise. When people say they want compromise, it's a pure lie. Because at the end of the day, somebody has to take control. Because women like somebody. If you say to a woman, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. She probably think, oh, he doesn't know where to go. He's, he's useless. But when you say to a woman, you know what? We're going here Saturday. We're going there Saturday. They like that. They like the, the leadership. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I do like a man who is capable of you know, sort of taking charge of the situation. I'm not gonna lie to you, because if I sit here and just be like, no, 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 I'm gonna be lying. And you know me, I'm very honest. I like a man who will be like, babe, we're going out to dinner on Saturday. I've booked it, da 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 Just dress like this. I, I like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. But at the same time, I can't still- have, can't have both. Huh? A man can't be both. Why? Why can't he be both? Am I, I, so, am I, so are you say, so all right, so am I am I am I am I an anomaly? Are women anomalies? Because I know I operate very heavily in my masculine energy and I've literally had to learn to operate in my femininity because I am a dude. Me, about you, what is your masculinity? What is that? What is my masculinity? Yeah. That if a man steps to me on the road, I'm not backing down. I will bust his head. And if I get my head bust, one of us is getting our head bust. I understand no, 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 that. No, 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 hold on, let me finish. You ask me. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. If he wants to bust my head, he's going to bust my head. But I'm not that woman that when the road rage is going on and the guy pulls up beside me, I don't wind up my window. I wind it down and I say, wah, brother. 
I do that. I'm not going to lie to you. And sometimes I have to catch myself and be like, but Jaya, he's, but he's big like, he's, he's big like Jeff Cates. But that's not being masculine. That's not being masculine. But according to you guys and what you're saying, that's, 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 that be, me being like, I will take charge of situations. I will, you know, I will be but, the one to fight, initiate. Fighting, fighting and stuff doesn't mean that you're muscular. Uh, what I mean personally is somebody who, who is strong, looks strong, who's somebody who, who um, don't take no for an answer. I mean, if, if, if you're being stupid, this day, I'm, not, I'm not talking about the silly argument that we have. I'm talking about, um, I'll give you a scenario for me personally. I, I, I compromise in every situation. And I was with this girl for nine years. And we, I always compromised with her. And I realized when it came down to difficult situations, she was not willing to compromise at all. She did what she wanted to do. And no matter what I say, she'd done it. So for me, it was a wrap. And it was a wrap because- at the So end you couldn't day, date her because of that? I, I had to leave her because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm talking to you and we're at a, 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 a junction where we, are, we can only turn left or right, there's no in between and you're telling me that you're turning left all the time, then you're undermining me as a man, me as a leader, and me as somebody who takes control of the family. Because whatever you say in life, if, if, you're, if your wife and your child's out on the street, you automatically blame the man not having the money to provide for their family. So really, truly, leadership has to come from the man. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, 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 okay. I, um... I'm going to have to agree to disagree on, on some well, of those points. You can't blame a man for a woman being on the street if she's a single mother. That's okay, wait. One point. No, very true. But can I just, just I'm before we go, Jason, people. you've had your hand up for a while, so I really just want to give you an opportunity to speak, and I see you guys have all got your hands up. So, Jason, go ahead, honey. And I'm going to talk, because there's comments coming in on Facebook as well, like, uh, if Jason's not ready to talk yet, um, Aisha says that she kind of agrees with Anthony. Um, she said, um, what did she say? And me, oh, I've, I've lost some of her comment. Uh, she said, I think that the word being vulnerable needs to be broken down more. Okay, we can do that. She said, he's right. Some Someone needs to lead. I don't want a man to compromise with me. I need him to lead. Now, Aisha, I'm going to say something. Now, the fact that she said she needs him to lead, that's very different from, you know, like, I don't need a man to lead me. And I had a conversation with Anthony earlier on today, and I was, I don't do it anymore, ladies, so don't crucify me or guys. I was very much in the habit of when I met someone, I would let him know straight away, I want you, but I don't need you. And it was only through having conversations with, with some of my male friends, they were like, Andrea, see, that's, you're killing us. You're killing us straight away. You're, 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 you're not giving us any room to be in your life or to, to provide or to do the things that we believe naturally that we are supposed to do. So it was like, okay, I, I get that. So I kind of learned that that's not the best thing to kind of let a guy feel that he's not needed because I think guys need to feel needed. They need to feel wanted. They need to feel appreciated. Now, the fact that that is needed, that's a vulnerability. That's a part of being vulnerable. You know, if you're saying that you're doing all this masculine stuff and you're the provider and da 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 da, da if a woman knows how to read that right, you're letting me know that you want to feel like the protector. You want to feel like... Uh, the provider you know and that's still a bit of a vulnerability so even in not showing vulnerability you're still actually showing vulnerability by the fact that you won't show it because you feel that it's a weakness so showing that you will not show something because you feel that it's a weakness is clearly showing your weakness um Karen you've got your hand up no I think no you're riding it well you carry on my sister and <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. like nah girl, nah, girl. <laughs> okay i should say correct that is vulnerability um i says i hear you with that statement i did the same thing said the same words awesome i agree with the young lady where the women are single we're right 
So, okay, so that's a whole nother thing, um, being a single parent. Now I raised my children as a single woman and I felt like I had to be sort of mum and dad, even though my daughter's dad was very present, you know, he was very an active father in my daughter's life. But I, I was the one that was in the house, paying the bills, calling this, doing the that, doing the that, doing the shopping. When I had 10 bags of shopping, I didn't have no one to say, babes, don't worry. I got that. I had to pick up all the six bags of shopping and try and carry them with the child and the push there and all of these things. And I learned to just be that. I learned to just do that. So, uh, you know, I've seen, I guess, as, 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 as a woman who has two children, I've seen a breakdown in the, I guess, the what's the word? I want to say like the 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 values or the core. Um, values of men and 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 what they think is being vulnerable is not being vulnerable what they don't realize is that they're showing their vulnerability to us by not actually being able to be yeah. vulnerable so yeah. that shows me that that's a side that needs work that's something that needs healing because if you have that in you it's a part of who you are you we have when we are made we are made with both feminine and masculine energy and it just depends on the circumstances of how we bring that energy to the forefront and it's necessary at sometimes sometimes I need to be the dude like I know I don't have pecs and I don't have that but sometimes I I have to take the reins and I have to just I ain't got time to you know when I'm in meetings and and being in the music industry it can be quite male dominated so you learn to be that but then I know when to be vulnerable I know when to be soft I know when to be gentle but I find that with men it's they don't know when they don't know when or it's a fear of when to be vulnerable and when to be gentle and when to be open and and and, and show emotion in a vulnerable way and even talk about their feelings um how they feel like that's not vulnerability that's that's weakness and vulnerability is a strength it's not a weakness so if somebody tells me and this is not a dig at you Anthony this is just you know where where I get to if somebody tells me that they don't know how to be vulnerable or they refuse to be vulnerable then already you're telling me what your vulnerability is and that's what I see does anybody have a comment I've got some comments does anybody want to say something or respond? Yeah, I, I want to say one thing. Back back onto the subject, because I think you missed what I said when I talked about um, if you were out on the street. I'm, I wasn't talking about a single parent. I was talking about somebody who is married in a relationship, two people in the household, and um, generally the man gets blamed. If you're single, it's, it's a different story. Uh, but again, I have to also bear in mind, sometimes um, um, say, say people... Um, don't allow the man to, especially when the kids are involved, allow the man to, to, to be in the the kids' life. They make life a lot harder. And some man are dogs. They don't they don't want to be in their lives when it's when it's over. But I'm just saying it works both ways. But generally, we have to look at as people not so much, obviously, um, what is good on back, what, what, where we are. See what I'm saying to you? You see, you're a very strong lady, and I, I'm sure. In your lifetime, some guys must have come to you and say, you know what, I can't, I can't chat to you because you're too strong. Or they, they, won't, they won't come to you. I can't hear you. You're, you're going, you're... <laughs> you told me that. You told me that one day. Like, me and Earl have been friends forever. And he told me that. He's like, you're just too, you're too strong. You're too, you're too. And I'm like, but what does that mean? Like, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes when a woman comes across too confident mm -hmm. a man well this is what i feel that i have no place to enhance you because you're there already okay just i'm saying to you so weird and truly i can't get emotionally attached to you because a man is a fixer regardless man we're we're a man would like to fix things they like to provide things they want to make sure that you're safe financially uh suddenly's lifting up they want so we we want to fix everything so if we come to you and we talk to you and you feel that your life is perfect, 
we find it we find a struggle to fit into your life. Do you understand that scenario? Yeah, but nobody's life is perfect, though. Nobody, no, but, uh, nobody has. It's how, you, it's, it's, how, it's how you come. It's, it's how people come across. If people come across, I don't like same things. If, if if you carry a little woman's bag, I don't need to come about. Come my own bags. Do you know what I mean? It's like, listen, I'm trying to show you that I I I love you. I want to carry your bag, and they're just shrugging you off, and you're thinking, okay, stuff you then, and it, the atmosphere starts to go sour then because. As I said before, we want to help. We want to be able to fit in your life to say we can protect you, we can look after you, and we can't show you that we're vulnerable because we want to know that when you're in trouble, you can always come to us. But we show that we're weak. You're not coming to us. You're coming to your girlfriend or you're coming to another guy. Okay, so you just said two things. So basically you're saying that a woman showing her vulnerability helps you. Absolutely, 100%. So why would it not work the other way around then? Why would it not work the I, I, other I, I, way around? There's, there's an old saying, two bulls can't stay in the same pen. Okay. So if you're so confident and you feel you don't need my help, and I'm the man thinking, well, I don't need your help because I'm the provider, where are we going to where are we going to where are we going to enjoy with one another? My point exactly. My so, point so, exactly. So, no, but that's so, but so, that's so, my so, point exactly. As a woman, for... as a woman, as a woman, not being sexist, but as a woman truthfully how we look at things i know it's not the same way because women are very strong ahead of everything else but you're there to 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 like like this old saying you give a woman a house she makes it at home you give her grocery she makes you dinner you give her seed she gives you a child so really and truly you're there to enhance us you're not there to challenge us or you're not there to say okay we're we're just equal to you you're there to we enhance you, you enhance us. We work together as a team. Alad, El, we can take you off my Christmas card list. You and Anthony is stricken. We are taking you off the list and you're going with them. Both are not going to the bin. It's, it's, it's in the Bible. It's, 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 I'm, it's in the Bible. I'm talking. There's you're a bin helping. with you're, your name it's, on it. You're, you're in the, it's in the Bible. Yeah, the Bible says <laughs> women are help meet. Yeah. And obviously, like I say, we have to love you like Christ loved the church. Can I just, so you, let's just do that. No, let's do that. You said help meet. Did you hear the yes. word? Help meet. It means you meet. I help you. I no, be meet. It no, is saying no, mate. No, it said no, help no. meet. Help Don't meet. go down Meaning, to that. Under man, that. Man, under man that. was working under in the that. garden. Man was working in the garden. And under Jesus that. needed, man needed help. So what Jesus did, he took. So what? So he sent a woman. Did he send another man? Let's just let's just put it out there. When God made, if we want to talk about Bible stuff, like if we want to, you know, like if we want to talk about that stuff, when God made the man and he and he said, "You need to help me," did he give him another man or did he give him a woman? A woman. So why, if if God in His infinite wisdom thought that He should give a man a woman, why? Can I because say something? There was parts what woman, was lacking. What woman in this Jesus. world? What mm -hmm. woman in this world built this world? It was man that built the world. It's man that built the world. Is it? Oh, yes, man. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is so oh, juicy. This is so juicy. This is so juicy. This is so juicy. But the fact of the matter is, God himself is neither male nor female. Spirit Absolutely. is neither male nor female. Let's just be real to real to real. Like, Spirit but is neither the, male nor female. The, God is the, neither male nor female. Like, all the buildings you see, all the buildings you see, all the cars you see, all the, the roads you see, who builds them all? Men. And who designs them? Men. Is that oh, what you feel like? Wow. Huh? Men. I'm not saying women don't, I'm not saying women don't do it. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that. Traffic lights. Who, who invented because, traffic lights? Because in that's day, a very back, logical thing, traffic back in lights. Day, no, I'm who who about, invented traffic lights? I know it was a black woman. I, I, I don't even know what y'all are talking about. I'm talking about builder. I'm not talking Ways. about adventures. You know that thing that men don't like to do when they don't like to read maps? You're talking about adventures. I'm talking about buildings. It's a, there's a difference. Yes. But, but let me just clarify. At the end of the day, the way I see it, personally speaking, I just believe, this is my last saying to you, I just believe... As a woman, <laughs> I just said you really dropped off the cliff now, brother. No, the <laughs> when she said it really dropped off the cliff now. She said, "Here we bloody go." She said, "Oh lad, <laughs> let it go, let it go, let it go." But 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 I, put it back. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> let me let me see if I could pull this back in. Yeah. All I can say, all I can say is this: whatever happens is women needs to learn 
Okay, yeah. they need to learn. They do. They, they're too busy doing their own thing. Yeah, I say too, too busy. Let me fix thing. my wig. Yeah, I mean, they're too Let busy. Me fix my they can do that. Man. You need to learn to submit under a man. All right. Thank you, Elle. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> I, I'm going like, all right, cool. <laughs> lad, hey, lad. I didn't realize this was going to get, I'm actually sweating under here. Like the, 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 the vim, the vim, the vim, the vim. Somebody's asking, what do you look like? They want to know what you look like, Elle. So I don't know if you want to show yourself. Who, but who's, who, who's asking? Um, Aisha Kamara is asking, what do you look like? But Aisha anyway, Kamara. Yeah, I, she's on. This is on Facebook. So we got some. We got some viewers on Facebook. Um, oh, I see. Okay. He okay. said, "L sounds very single." <laughs> Listen, all, all, <laughs> like, but all right. All, all right, I can right. say, all I can say is this. No, no. Let me say this one thing. Right. I have no problem, no problem finding a woman or having a woman. Women come up to people and they, as I said before, when, it's, when I gave my number, she told me silly little things. So it's not about a man. Because think about a woman. Because a man gives their opinion and how they think they are. Women automatically think, well, that's why you're single. Well, I say to sometimes to women, well, why are you single if you're so good? So like, like I say, we got, we got, you can't look at a man and a man's attitude because if women have such good attitude, why are so many women single? Now, I'm not saying all women have good attitudes. Like, no, but, I, no, but, I, but, but the, then, guy said something, the guy said something earlier on, which you girls didn't like, and you first you said, are you single? Then I say something, and you first thing, oh, he sounds single. Why? Because we're single because we haven't found the woman that matched the place. I could find any old riffraff on the street without a shadow of a doubt. You go to a pub, you go online. You could, you could go online now, check somebody, say, look, meet me in the park, whatever. You can do what you want. Now it's a free for all. But decent men want decent women. Like decent women want decent men. Just want to clarify that to, to for those who wonder why I'm single. Okay, thank you. Oh. Okay, Francine, Francine, did you want to say something? God, I've been waiting so long. Um, I'm sorry. It was I'm just sorry. in response. It was in response to Anthony's comment about his mother maintained him. And I thought about my son. Um, I, you know, I was a single parent some of the times that I was bringing my children up, my daughter and my son. And um, I don't consider I maintained my son. In fact, I think, um, I think a lot of the other mothers thought I was quite strict with my son. And when it comes to um, learning things that men do um I could do all that my dad was really shocked one day when I changed the plug he was really shocked when I mended the fridge the door on the freezer he was like no you need a man to do that no dad I don't need a man I just go on YouTube and they've got some tutorials on there I just watch it and then I do it but with regards to my son my son always had his dad in his life Okay, but what I took care to do was make sure that my son had positive male role models in his life. Okay, because I knew that I may not fulfill everything that my son needed A in order to grow up. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. in order for him to grow up into an, uh, an adult that was, uh, could go out and be socially acceptable and behave acceptably with my son he was washing his own clothes at 14 and that resulted from if the clothes are not in the basket i'm not picking them up off the floor they will be left on the floor I love so one it. day when he come tell me oh this shirt isn't washed i want to wear it i go i just said come with me come with me <laughs> i opened the washing machine drawer i said you put the powder in there, you put the softener in there. There's only two programs you need. That's the dark colors, that's the white colors. Now on, you do your own washing, okay? Right. Every week, they had to earn their pocket money. He would be out there cutting the grass. My daughter would be digging up the borders, getting out the weeds. Other, other mothers would come past and say, oh my God, Fran, I can't believe Jamie was cutting the grass. I can't believe. It's because 
I try to prepare my children for life from a male perspective and a female perspective. I had three brothers. When by the time my brothers left home, they could cook, clean, iron, everything, right? When their partners had their children, my middle brother, he looked after that baby while his wife rested. He washed the baby, fed the baby, changed the baby, right? Cooked the food. He knew exactly what he needed to do because they were working as a team, okay? Some of the statements some of the men on here have made, I think are quite really broad statements. Um, and I just think, I don't know what kind of women you're attracting to each other, to yourselves, but not all women are like as you say they are. And I, I can't understand why, I, I get it that you're basing your opinions on your experiences, your lived experiences, but it doesn't mean that all women are like how you think, how you say they are. And I just need you to understand that if you're always gonna judge all women from your own lived experiences, You'll always, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Always got. Exactly. I thank you for sharing, Francine. You know, and 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 that's the thing. It's like I I I agree with some of the things to 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 a certain degree, but I just think it comes back to balance. Um, I don't know who had their hand up. Was it Carl or was it Karen? Karen, you had your hand up. No, I was going to say something about the balance. Thanks everybody for sharing. Very good um dialogue and engagement um as i said before you've got a hundred all all the all the two partners the male and the female all they've got to do is make a hundred if one does one the other one needs to do 99 if one does 50 the other one needs to do 50 you've just got to make a hundred it's not a competition it's not you know uh, uh, what I hear what I'm hearing is kind of like I'm um, extremes so uh, one minute you say you want masculinity then you want somebody we're not we're not it's not a die where you're like e -e -e -e. it's 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 moving it's inching so yes of course we want masculinity and muscles and bravado and laughter and love and everything but we also want the the soft side of nature but not all the time everything's got to be to be balanced so sometimes it could be 99 percent masculinity and one percent femininity at other times we might want 50 percent so it's, it's all different um when you talk about the bible and what the bible says we've got to remember that the bible is written by man and we need to know i mean basically we all need to know we all need to know who we are so then we can actually art for who we want to be with. We have to know who we want to be with. And what happens is that when we know who we want to be with and we can visualize that person or know that this person's got to have these certain traits or attributes, what happens is that when we don't find that person, we compromise. And when we compromise, we end up having these kinds of conversations. So it's us, we attract what we're thinking. So if, so I'm saying a lot of us don't actually wait for whoever a lot of us don't wait for who we actually want because we, we just we just we take what comes along like, and come away. You know I mean? away. So I, I, I would I would agree I would agree with that I would agree yeah, with that and I've been guilty of that in the past. Exactly, I and, and I, and I, I just have. think that we're not here to change anybody. So uh, most of us do that. We have a relationship, we're in a relationship, we're loving the relationship, then one of us don't like what the other person's doing. So we want to change that person. So nah, as, as, I, as- I should have said, preach, come on, come on. She <laughs> said, yes. She as said, she's so as right. A, <laughs> Fantasia, I'm being me. She says it, I'm not here to change you. That's yeah. not what my life purpose is. So yeah. that's what I've learned. And a lot of the things that the men were talking about, and I think it was, was it one and only? I am the one and only. Yes, you are the one. But um, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> what, what, one, what one and only was saying was he actually said when I was when when I was young or when back in the day you wanted this da 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 da. Then no one wanted a Christian man. 
you will find that's changed. The older we get, the more we want a Christian man because we've done, done the bad boy thing. And so I understand what you're saying, but I think that comes with maturity and wisdom and age. We don't know what we want when we're younger. Do you know what that's I mean? Been, I agree. I agree with that. And, and thank you again, Karen. And do you know what? It's, 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 it's very, this has been a really, really interesting topic. Um, Carl, before I, Carl, you, you had your hands up, babe. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, hey. I've been listening. How are you doing? Very, very <laughs> interesting conversation. Very. I feel like I've got to um, stand up for the man then and try and break oh, this thing. Oh, another one. No, 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 no. no. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is because I think from I was listening, yeah, this whole thing about men being vulnerable in XYZ, it's almost like, that's, a, that's like I said, into persona. Men are taught not to be vulnerable. So when you meet a woman who wants you to be vulnerable, you don't know how to. So it's either too much or it's too little. Hence why she might take the mick out of you on a bad man. But once you know who you are, I can't be a, with a woman that ain't emotionally available or understand vulnerability because it's always going to be an argument. If you do feel down, she's not going to be aware. And, that's, and depending on how she's formed her construct about vulnerability, you're trying to fit into that. So you're never who you are. And people don't communicate at a point like, it's lust, isn't it? You meet someone, you like them, then you think, nah, he's too weak. And back in the day, a woman did like a bad man, and a man was right about two or three gal on a man or X, Y, Z. But as you get older, if you can't meet a woman and be vulnerable with a woman, then I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't really get like what the guys, are, I'm sticking up for the men, but I don't really get what they're saying in that sense. Because if you meet a woman and you like her, and she's ticking all the boxes, and you and her are getting on, why wouldn't you be vulnerable with her? But why wouldn't is, you be vulnerable? Exactly, right. and this is, this is the point I'm making. So it's it's actually really refreshing. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I just want someone to agree with me because no, I like, not, and the I'm, whole I'm, reason I chose Anthony is because I knew that we were polar opposites of, of, of and I know- I, No, I, but I, he's, I, got, he's got he, valid points. He's he got does valid have valid points. Like, yeah. But I'm saying as grown men, because there's no one on here under like, I don't know ages, but just from the type of conversation, everyone's over 30, innit? Like, just, just a quick sort of like X, Y, Z. If you're not, sorry, but if you are, I'm surely you've been- I'm baby. Don't make me over 30. Don't do that. No, no, but I'm saying <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. If you meet someone, yeah, and you're having a conversation and you have grown, and again, it's who you're meeting. You can't be meeting people that aren't available because then if you're going to be dipping in and out, you're never going to find what you're looking for. And we've got to start asking that question. What If you don't know what you're looking for, someone can't give you anything. It almost goes back to last week. Do you know what I mean? So this mm -hmm. whole thing about vulnerability and no one ain't happy with themselves and it goes back to, if you're not happy, you're going to bleed on people anyway. You're going to give them a different side of you because you haven't dealt with your own inner thing. So this whole thing about vulnerability, masculinity, feminine, these are constructs. You can buy into it, but you don't. If my girl comes on and she's like, boy, I'm doing this and I'm fixing the wheel in the car. Yeah, because I wash dishes. I clean, I do all that, I wash clothes and all that. So what's this role play, this gender role dynamic that we've, we've all bought into? And if you don't do that, you're not a man. And if you don't do that, we're actually falling into it. And this conversation just been about that. So I've listened and I'm like, I weren't going to say nothing, but I don't even know if I made sense, but it's like the conversation so off point. And again, this is the thing within our community. We're talking about stuff that we should know already. Why am but I going to run you down? Because I want a little, the something, something and what comes with it. Yeah. Come on, man. We're adults, man. Like, this is, it's a good conversation, but for me, it's like, we're at a different point now, bruv. We're at a different point. Man can't be talking about they're not vulnerable and they can't chat to a woman, rear, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I was told, wash, cook, and clean. For me, you can do that. You can get anyone. Some man can't do that. And when they do, it's a selfish thing. I'm not doing it for you if you don't do it for me. Where does that come from? I hear the passion. You know Place. I love it. No, I, I, no, no, it's, it's real though. It's real. Yeah, but that's, but this is this is the point I'm making because I I I kind of I feel I I and I thank you the, um, on face because they can hear you on Facebook and um, they're saying yeah you're you're making absolutely they make you're making sense what you're saying is so true they agree with you um and someone and Aisha said a man will naturally show his vulnerability when he trusts the lady now I Natural. would agree with that like if you trust someone then you're, you, you know, trust is a big one, which is why we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago. We're saying, you know, when you trust someone to be vulnerable. And the reason why we're still having these conversations is because there are still, from my experience, a lot of men who struggle with being 
vulnerable because it's shown as a sign of weakness. It's shown as, and for me, I'm sorry, but a little bit, a bit of vulnerability in a man is more sexy to me than having King Kong or, or, or what's his name, Superman or Iron Man come rushing to save the day. I, I actually find that attractive, having that balance. And it really comes down to having balance and being balanced in what you're doing. There has to be balance. It can't just be all this. It can't just be all that. It, we vulnerability, and, and the reason I brought this topic up, because from my point of view, guys, and, and as an ISI life coach, I teach my males and my females that I coach that vulnerability is necessary. Vulnerability is a part of who we are and it's a part of showing trust. It's a part of letting your partner know that you trust them and that they can trust you to be authentically who they are. And if, and if in Anthony's case, authenticity for him is he doesn't show vulnerability. But for me, I would say, well, for me, that is a vulnerable, that is a vulnerability. For me, I would say that. Um, I don't know if Anthony, Anthony's been quite quiet. He's been, <laughs> he's kind of sat back. Well, I'm not firing shots at any man, you know. I was just saying, it, listening in, because yeah. you know, I work with under 18s oh, as no, well, and it's yeah. striking me that if we're, if we're men and we're speaking like this, remember, kids listen, you know. They, they watch, they don't, they don't listen. So if they watch us and they see all this and they don't show us, they can't see vulnerability and Remember, they understand the emotions, but they can't make sense of it. Yeah. Because they get older now. If we're not making sense of it and breaking it down to them, how are they going to learn? These youths are running around at emotionless. Yeah? They're vulnerable, but they're emotionless. So how are we going to change that narrative? If we are on this, I'm going to meet someone, and I understand this trust thing is a big issue, but again, you can only trust someone if you trust yourself. So it goes back to healing. It goes back to self. Everything you're saying, everything, it's, it's like we're brought up and we're given this, we're given that, you're given that. You have a fight to uphold it or you fight to defend it. Man are upholding this masculine persona because that's what the TV's projecting. When they go home, they're crying. You know, the highest suicide rate amongst men is amongst men, isn't it? And you think about that. Why is this that? This is one of the things that I wanted like, to bring up. And I'm why, so glad why, you said why? that. Yeah, but this is a real thing. It's real yeah. life, isn't it? So it's yeah. all good we're saying it and it sounds good that we're all talking about it. But when you get down to the crust of it, everyone needs to be vulnerable, isn't it? Vulnerability ain't, ain't even a stigma. It's, it's something that everyone has. You know what I mean? But communication, again, like, sorry, I'm talking fast because I'm walking as well. I've got to jump on a train, but I had to just get my, no, my it's, two pence awesome. in. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, <laughs> like, very good conversation. Um, the one and only, and Anthony, I'd like to talk to you, man, offline still. Can I hook it up? All right. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, can, yeah, I, yeah. can I just say something quickly? I think we're, we're getting a quite confusing when we talk. Like I say, when I talk personally, or I think when I do, whoever talk, I think we're talking when we first, when, I'm talking about when we first meet a lady. I'm not talking about being vulnerable when you're in a, a long-term relationship or a marriage. But we're talking about relationships, oh, we're not yeah, talking but, about yeah, but, first, yeah, but, yeah, but again, first impressions yeah, are not yeah, valid. Yeah, but, yeah, but no, but it is valid because obviously the first impression does count. But when, when I'm saying to you about uh, being vulnerable, I'm talking when you meet somebody, but you're in a relationship and, you, and the trust builds everything else. That's different because I think every man, they probably don't, every man shares a tear for something, whether someone in their family dies or they sh everyone, no one's like stiff, stiff, got a cold heart. I'm sorry, but, you need to ask Anthony. Anthony said he doesn't cry. So, well, uh, Anthony, no, do you cry? Have you shed a tear? He may, he may shed a tear. He may shed a tear. He might not cry out loud like you women do, but he may shed a tear for something that happened, a loss from whatever. But it, it, that's that's Anthony. I can't talk for him. I'm, I'm talking for. Well, you for are me. because he's right here, and I'm waiting for him yeah, to respond. Anthony, obviously, I, Anthony. He probably don't cry, but he probably got a tear in his eyes. He, he shows emotion. He's not. He's not. He's not a, a hard You're hard man. You're assuming. Well, let me let me let me, let me get, also get back to the subject about what we talked about. Um, also about uh, uh, women and the man um, when it comes to bringing up children and stuff like that. Like I say, personally speaking, when it comes to a girl, there's certain things that a man can't teach a woman. They can't. Um, uh, obviously, obviously, what's the, uh, the, 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 the first sign of, obviously, when you reach puberty, whatever. A man don't know that sort of thing. So women really got to teach a woman when it comes to women stuff. We can all teach people the manual stuff, how to read, how to, I'm not, we're not talking about that when I say it. I'm talking about, you know, the, the stuff that women go through changes when they when they when they when they go from into teenagers and, and when they go through their emotions man can't really teach a girl that 
Same thing with a girl teaching a man. Personally speaking, yes, you could teach a man how to be a, a boy, how to be a man, and what the best you can. But there's certain things that a boy has to do as a man that a woman can't teach a man because it's a man shows a man what to do in certain areas and how to keep certain things. You know what I'm saying? So we could talk about how we could how we could teach, but we could only teach from what we know. We, a man could teach a boy how to be a man. And I'm not talking about the physical learning. I'm talking about the cleansiness. I'm talking about um, obviously uh, um, uh, the, the strength and everything else. Do you sometimes say to you? I do, so, but the fact of the matter is, I, I I I agree and I don't agree because I think a woman can't teach a man how to be a man from an experiential, um, like from what she's experienced. And that's what I'm talking he about. He has an experience, but from a learning point of view and having brothers and fathers and males in their life. You learn things. And I think a lot of us women have had to be able to teach our boys how to be men, even though we don't I, 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 I experience personally, what it's like I, I to be a boy in the playground. Or, huh? I, I personally don't agree with that. I personally think this is my just my I'm not saying that what I'm saying is correct. I'm just saying for when I look at, um, say, our people, I look at our people as um, we're not teaching. Uh, um, um, the 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 because really and truly, in, in the stuff that we see teenagers do now, we don't see other nations doing it. They do do it behind closed doors. Everyone's everyone's got their bad habits, but the thing about black people, they, they've got the such the and I don't I don't mean to be racist or be and it's wrong for me to say it because I'm black myself. But we we don't teach them, uh, 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 and that's why I I believe in a way it's gone chaos. I mean, when I watch a video, Sorry, you one and only. can you finish a sentence? Because you've started the sentence about three times and you've said we don't teach them and you don't actually finish the sentence. OK, oh, what, what I mean, what I mean is this. At the end of the day, number one, is, it's like obviously a, a man's cleansiness. You, you, a woman can't teach a man how to how to be clean, how to how to be clean. A woman can't teach a man how to be to be a man. They can't because they're not a man. Sorry, let, me just, let me just let me just let me just. I have raised boys. OK, and I'm going to just be a little bit graphic guys like just forgive me because i'm gonna be graphic i have had to teach them how to not have cheesy willy yeah and it's, it's not just that it's not yeah, just that yeah no but hold on hold on hold on hold on because yeah. some funny stuff be going on with your boys like yeah. and and i understand but, yeah, but i knew it's not just that, tell, i knew to tell my boys that i was raising pull back the foreskin do what you need to do yeah, wash it nicely hold on but but this, this is cleansiness the, and the rest of it is wash your batty, make sure you wash it no, between. It's, it's not just But you're looking at the guy. Okay, take, take from a girl's point of view. How would a guy would teach a woman about about, about, about about that then? How would he do that? If a what? How would a guy teach his, his, his daughter about, 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 about teenagers? What do you mean? You read books or you speak to another woman and you get her side. Or exactly. if you if you've got sisters, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. My son, my son has these conversations with his daughter. All right. Talks it's to true. her like I spoke to him. From the time my child at seven asked me what girls have, mm -hmm. right? I knew I had to explain it to him, not telling me how, that girls have a, a, a front gar, a front bottom or a, a lady guard and all this stupidness. No, it's a penis and a vagina. All right. I'm my talking son, most, I'm talking come the most tell of me, it. my son, come tell me when he lost his virginity at bloody 14 with some 16 year old girl, right? My son come to me, talk to me about how two girls want to have a threesome with him. And I'm saying to him, treat a woman how you'd expect a man to treat your mother or your sister. All right. And when he was even older than that, having problems with his girlfriend in the bedroom, he's coming asking me, for, can't you talk to your friends? It's mm. like, no, mum, because you tell me the truth. I'm like, this is, and I think that, what you've just said is a lot of it, is that we will tell you the truth. Men will tell you the truth. We do tell each other the truth, but sometimes I think people don't wanna hear the truth. You know, people don't wanna face the truth that, and when we get, when we're back onto this subject of, 
vulnerability like I knew it was going to be a really juicy one I knew it was going to be this and I was like nah this is why Anthony I would just want to say thank you so much for for putting on your your bulletproof vest and taking the shots fired today um it, oh I, oh I, yes I, yes I I do have a bulletproof vest just to let you know you definitely do that's that you know no like, I mean lit- I mean literally I do have <laughs> two <laughs> bulletproof vests yeah, yeah because you are that guy <laughs> And, but you know, it's like it, it, this has been a really interesting conversation, and I really, really thank you all for you know being a part of it. You know, um, you know, I I love hearing different people's perspectives, and whether they whether I agree, whether they I don't agree, this is what these are the conversations that we need to be having because you know each one teach one. We 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 get strong together. This is called iron sharpens iron having this conversation with you guys and having Anthony's perspective has now kind of even opened my mind to see that there are guys out there who actually you know do not do vulnerability and it's not an option for them and I'm like I I don't think I I don't think I really knew that that really I knew that it I I I thank you Anthony because I I think maybe I was living with my rose tinted glasses and thinking well I'm sure he's gonna say that he shows vulnerability sometimes this is I I can't lie I really did but he was like no not at all and I I love the honesty sorry I just um we've got comments on Facebook and just about talking about teaching guys um um, one says I have a son and I 100% would know how to teach him to clean and have self-respect and to show vulnerability it's so sexist to say that it has to be a man in 2021 there is so much information out there and I and thank you Amy May and and I and and um Aisha says my hubby can and can teach my girls how to basically have personal hygiene and all of that and I just think just to kind of wrap this up Anthony thank you so much for you know being a part of today thank baby, you baby you're, you're more than welcome I told you on the telephone I, I wanna... know I appreciate you um but just to wrap up guys I just want to put it out there that it really is about having balance I really believe that we have to have balance in our relationships for me I'm gonna put it out there I believe vulnerability is necessary. Communication is necessary. Trust is necessary. Love is necessary. All of these components are necessary for us to have healthy relationships. And as I've said in the past, is like, if you're going to bake a cake and you have the eggs, the sugar, the flour, the milk, the whatever, and you decide, actually, I'm just not going to put any sugar in there, you will still get a cake, but it's going to be some bland ass cake. So for me, if you take out the vulnerability, that's like taking out the sugar. For me, this is me. I need it. I like sweet stuff. Put your vulnerability in there. Don't wear it every single day. Like I don't wear vulnerable every day. Sometimes I have to be a badass businesswoman. I have to go and sit in business meetings with men who look at me being a woman, being a black woman, and being all of these things. And I have to be like, listen, I have to own my space and I have to put on, get in my male energy a little bit and command the, command the space. And then I know when to get into my feminine energy as well. So it really is about just having balance in being, sorry, my phone's doing funny stuff, in being comfortable to be who you are in your own skin and knowing that no matter what you um, can be who you are and that you know it takes a lot for men to be vulnerable ladies and I feel like we need to be patient sometimes and allow them the space and allow them the I guess the the trust in us to feel safe enough to be vulnerable because I personally do feel that if somebody can't be vulnerable to me it I take it as a distrust you know, that you don't trust me enough to be vulnerable and vice versa. And I appreciate that men struggle with it. And even more so now that I've heard, you know, um, one and only Earl and, and Anthony's stance that, you know, it's, it's they're, they're more on the masculine side of things. And I just think, guys, we need to grace each other 
you know, grace people's individuality, grace people where they're at and meet people where they're at. And let's continue to grow in healthy relationships. It's not about being black or white. And so can I just add that this same dynamic goes in same sex relationships as well. You know, like even in female, female relationships, there has to be vulnerability at some point, male, male, there has to be, you know, there has to be a dynamic. There has to be, you know, whatever it is. And, and I um, am really, really grateful for all of you coming on today and sharing your hearts and share. Thank you, um, Karen and Francine, you know, for sharing your personal stories. I really would love you guys to come and join us again next week. We are going to be having a nice juicy debate. It probably won't be as fiery as this. Um, I don't have a guest for next week. And I think we're going to be talking about, I don't, I'm not actually sure. I know that we might be talking about love next week. I think it's love. We're going to talk about love in relationships and how do we show love in relationships relationships and what what do we do and if anybody wants to connect with anybody that they've met on here or you know please do let me know and if you're happy for the connections to happen I will make that happen also um I just want to do a big shout out to my girl Simone who ha is having an event um for singles all right it's it, I think it's mainly for women so sorry guys you're a bit out counted here um on Saturday and I will be posting that in our WhatsApp group. If you're not a part of our WhatsApp group and you'd like to be a part of our WhatsApp group, send me a message. I will get you added to the group. You'll get the notifications every week. And it's all positive people who, you know, just know themselves and, 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 and want to share love with each other. It's been amazing. Anthony, you've been a great guest. I, I, I really thank you for being the, pl you. the pleasure <laughs> was all mine <laughs> Andrea, yes darling thank you for inviting us karen and i we only met on the weekend we did <laughs> unfortunately i'm committed on a wednesday i run a youth club oh. uh, for our young people yeah. um sorry i volunteer at a youth youth club that for yeah. our young people on a wednesdays from um 4.30 till 6.30 and then by the time I've got all my grandchildren home um I don't get back until about half seven so I'll see if I can jump on okay. then okay like, that's, that's, we don't usually kick it. off till round about like seven feet the room oh, guys the room opens from seven so those of you who are on Facebook who would love to jump on the zoom the room is usually open from seven and we just socialize we chit chat we do play music we get to know each other and then around about 7.15, 7.20, we kick off and the conversation goes live. And it, we've had some amazing. And if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, please do. There are all of these that we've had in the past. We've spoken about money. We've spoken about mindset. We've spoken about love. We've spoken about trauma. We have spoken about every cotton picking thing that you can think of on this platform and it has been fan friggin tastic so i would say check out my youtube channel it's at andrea now follow me on instagram and all that please do like and share these um these videos and stuff and i um yeah we, we're usually here till round about 9 9 15 sometimes it goes on a little longer but i try to keep it in that box but sometimes we get a little excited and and we 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 do this um I have thoroughly enjoyed tonight. Um, it's it's been different. <laughs> it's been it's been different to say the least. Um, but I really really enjoyed it. And Anthony, thank you again. Everybody who's participated, thank you. I just say God bless you all. Have a wonderful wonderful week, and God be with you. And just smash it. Go with good energy and love. And I will see you all same place. Join us if you want to be on the WhatsApp group. Send me a message, and I'll get you added to our WhatsApp group. Lots of positive quotes. We don't talk about Corona. Just so you know, that's not allowed. We don't do that. We just keep it positive, positive vibes only, okay? So join us next week for ISI. God bless you all. Have a wonderful evening. Peace and love. Bye, everybody.